in our journals, we are drawing an animal that might live at the zoo, okay? So make sure moms there's, and dads that you put a line on the notebook there's so, there's room, at the zoo. so there's room below to write the word of the animal or to write a sentence about the animal. So today I'm gonna draw a bear. So I'm gonna draw my big I'm bear draw with a big head. Baby bear. You can draw a baby bear, that's fine. And I'm gonna give him two eyes and he's got his two ears. And he's got a bear nose and a bear mouth. And here's my bear's big body. How many arms does a bear have, Milo? Four. Well, four, yeah, four arms and legs. So he's got two arms and two big legs. So that's my bear and he lives at the zoo. So I'm gonna say, my bear lives at the zoo. If I am not as big as a mommy or a daddy and I don't know how to write all these words, I'm gonna try sounding it out. M, m. I hear an, m, an M. My b, b bear lives at the, or a, you could say a, I might write my sentence like that with a period at the end. If I don't know how to write sounds, then I might just write those letters that I know. Milo, what's a letter that you know? Uh, M. You know letter M, so you might start yours with M. Juju, what's a letter that you know? What letter do you know? What about your letter for your name? Oh, I can. Oh, I can. I want to make a. I want to make an elephant. An e e elephant. Well, maybe you see you hear an E, or maybe you know how to write an L. And this still just means my bear lives at the zoo, period. Can't wait to see your journals.